Hey, Selena. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Lisa. All you beautiful people, come on in. I'm going to wait a few minutes. I started early. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Mandy. Not much. Just trying to <laughs> have a nice Sunday. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to be doing this TMI tag. Woo! My gosh. Some of these questions, I was like, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so far, so good. Thank you. I hope you did too, Tammy. <clears throat> Move these out of the way. guys hold on just a second i'm having some difficulties over here just one second <clears throat> you love computers but then you don't <laughs> oh my gosh we deal with like computer issues all the time at work seems like well phone and computer issues but man I just want things to work right once in my life. <laughs> okay. Hi, Valerie. Oh, Lord, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I'm going to get the tea on tea. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> y'all just want to wait a few more minutes I hope everyone's doing okay but you guys there's 50 questions so I'm going to like swatch and um, answer these questions <laughs> Ooh. I was like I don't know if I want to do this tag <laughs> I was tagged by Sabrina from Sabrina's Twist of Color. And when I heard her tag me, I was like, oh my God, these questions. <laughs> oh, but maybe I need a little laughter, <clears throat> a little fun. All right, y'all, just another moment. <clears throat> thank you for your patience. Thank you, thank you. All right, okay, well, we're just going to have to work with what we have. So, you guys, bear with me. So, and let me know if you guys are having issues seeing me because I'm, I'm, I'm seeming like I'm having some issues here. But, okay, so first, um, I'll just let you guys know, we're going to do some swatching of the Holbein's Artist um, Color Pencils. This is the 150 set. I've already pre-written the names of each color and the um, numbers to make it easier. Um, we may not be able to get through all 150 so um, <laughs> we're going to do what we can. Just want to make sure you guys can see me. Okay. All right. Hi, Poet Spice. How are you? Okay, so I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers who are currently, you know, subscribed. I really appreciate your support. Um, I want to make sure that you guys like and share the video if you'd like. And for those who are new watching, um, please consider subscribing and also liking the video. Just get that out of the way. So, um, you guys, hold on. So, I went ahead and took them out of the case. I mean, out of the, the tin and put them in this case. Um, beautiful. 
these colors are so beautiful 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 y'all i love them um that sound i'm just like <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so as you guys can see, there's a nice range of pastel colors. Um, and then you have more on this side, more muted pastel colors. And then you have neons. And they're gorgeous, these pencils. Um, I have not colored with this whole set, but I have used that small set of pastels I showed you guys in the last um, video stream or live stream. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started with these watching and these questions <laughs> uh, <laughs> um oh you can see my shirt mandy <laughs> okay you guys are gonna find out what i'm wearing because that's one of those questions <laughs> um all right hi lisa we have another lisa so hi lisa l thank you for coming on all right so okay tmi you guys know what that means too much information. And yes, some of these questions are absolutely too much information. But to be, you know, just to do it and have a little fun, I'm going to go ahead and um, do the tag. All right. So the first, okay, we're going to start with the first pencil first. So you guys, um, I'm not going to name each one. I'm just going to swatch. You guys can watch me swatch. And we're going to answer these questions. If you have questions, um, if you see a color you like and you're like, what color is that? You can't really see, just let me know and I'll tell you what color that is. All right, so we're going to start with lemon. Okay, so you guys, the first question on this list of 50 is what are you wearing? So Mandy, <laughs> I am wearing a turquoise and white striped uh sundress and a black cardigan sweater because it's kind of cold down here in north carolina <clears throat> today we've had rain for the last couple of days on and off and we've gotten it's gotten cool so um we've got cold weather so i put on a sweater because it's kind of cool in here but i don't want to turn the air conditioner down too low because then when it gets hot it's gonna heat up um it's gonna be it's gonna cost a lot to heat or warm cool the house back off so um but yeah so i'm wearing and some pink hot pink flip-flop so <laughs> um that is what i'm wearing today you guys these are nice i just love how they lay down too all right, so the next question is, ever been in love? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been in love. I've been in love several times. And the last time I, I fell in love um, is with my husband. So yes, I have been in love. Um, the next question is, ever had a terrible breakup? No. I've not ever had a terrible breakup. No, not. Um, and I kind of feel sorry for people who do, because, you know, love is already tough to begin with. You, you get your heart broken. And <clears throat> having to do a, a tough breakup is makes it even worse, I think, having a tough breakup. All right. The next question is, how tall are you? Well, I am not the, hi, Kim. I'm not the tallest person in the world, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure not the shortest either. <laughs> Ooh, I have some friends that are like shorter than me, and I think that I'm short, guys. <laughs> so I am five, five and a half. I'm five, five and a half. Um tall enough to not be too tall when I put on four inch or five inch heels, but too short to reach the cabinets in my, <laughs> in my kitchen. So, um, either I call somebody to help me, which is one of the guys in my house, my husband or my, my son, cause they're over six feet, um, to get it for me. Or I just go get my stool and step up and get it. Five one, Mandy. 
we're in the five, the five and five, the five feet to five, six clubs. Where are those people? Okay, Lisa, five, five. What are you, Lisa? How tall are you? Five ones. Okay, five ones. Okay. All right. All right, guys. This next question, I think, is like really, <laughs> really TMI. The next question, guys, is how much do you weigh? How much do I weigh? Oh, my gosh. First of all, that is not a nice question to ask a woman or anybody, period. I mean, you know, so this is what I'm going to say. I am a BBW. I'm a big, beautiful woman. <laughs> um, and I think that that is, <laughs> I think that's good enough to know that I'm just a big, beautiful woman and I have curves in all the right places and my husband loves it. So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good that's a good answer for it, Spice. More than I want to, but less than I could. I love it. <laughs> that's a good answer for that question. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was like, how much do you weigh? I mean the, the audacity. <laughs> the gall. <laughs> but anyways, it's it's fun. It's all in fun. All right. Um, do you have any tattoos? Is the next question. Uh the answer is yes. I have two tattoos they're in places where you cannot see it um and so that's just for my eyes only pretty much <laughs> uh, or my husband's eyes <laughs> um so next question is um do you have any piercings the answer would be yes my ears are pierced i have two holes in my ears um um, and a long time ago, before I had my first child, I had my eyebrow pierced and I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. Um, it looked really cute on me. I had sh really, really short hair, cut really low and I had the eyebrow piercing and I absolutely loved it. But when I got pregnant, I was like, oh my God, I have to take this out because my kid, when he gets <laughs> able to start grabbing you know, toddlers and babies like to grab. They don't know what they're grabbing, um, but they just grab. And I was like, I don't want to grab my eyebrow and pull my whole eyebrow off my face. So I took them out. So, but yeah, so I, I used to have an eyebrow piercing, and but I do have my ears pierced. Hey, Tammy. Yay, you made it. Welcome. Yes, Valerie, I agree, agree. Beauty comes in all sizes, all shapes and all sizes. And I think that people need to, you know, just learn to love themselves. Um, and don't let, you know, what you, you know, I know social media and TV makes it, makes people feel like, oh, you have to be a certain size to be pretty, a uh, certain shape. Um, you have to have certain um, style of hair, different things like that. And no, um, you don't. <laughs> if you think you're beautiful, you're beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right. So the next question is um, OTP. I guess that's one true pairing. So like I thought about couples that I thought would like were like the best couples like in movies. And I don't know if any of you have watched Love and Basketball, but I feel like Quincy and Monica are a true OTP. <clears throat> I think they were, that's rated one of the best couples and um, one of the best couples from movies. There was a whole list of them, but um, I know for sure that I liked the relationship, um, the way that they portrayed that relationship of um, Quincy and Monica um, in Love and Basketball. Yeah. So you guys, these are, these are so nice. I don't even have to press hard and the pigment's coming right on to the paper. All right, so the next question that I have is your favorite show. 
I don't have just one. Um, right now, I'm really into uh, crime TV. I really like it. And not like the fake stuff, like the real stuff. Like I watched Snapped and um, 2020 Secrets and Lies, you guys. Um, I don't know why I watch that stuff because then I start getting, you know, nervous. <laughs> like, make sure the doors are locked, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I watch that stuff, but... I, I find it pretty interesting. I think I like more of the forensic side of it, like how they are able to find out who, who you know, who actually committed the crime and the steps they go through um, to process the information to make that determination. So I think that's why I like it. How many of you guys like um, shows like that, crime TV, like real crime TV? Oh yeah, Tammy, these are beautiful. Um, you know, if you get them, don't buy them from the US. You know, go to Amazon Japan because they're going to be cheaper for you if you, go, if you go there and get them. Very nice colors. <clears throat> and that one was Signal Red. They have a lot of nice reds in this one. Okay, Selena. Okay, Tammy, you guys like those. Um, okay, great. So there's some other people who like these crime series. I really do like them. I can watch that every day. And there are some really um, crazy ones, like the ones about the neighbors. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I like I like Law and Order SVU too, Manny. That's another one. I grew up watching <laughs> Law and Order. I think, um, you know, my dad liked that, those kind of shows and my mom. But really, okay, that's good to know. We have some people who like some of the same shows I do. That's great. All right, the next question that I have is my favorite band. Um, my favorite, my favorite band right now, well, of all time really, uh, is an R&B band and it's called Mint Condition. That's me and my husband's favorite band together. We can listen to Mint Condition together. You know, we we that's something that we sh have a common interest in is that band. And we were able to actually go see them live. And we were in the front and I was so excited and so happy. We're right in the front. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, Selena, Fear Thy Neighbor or something like that. Ooh, I can't watch that one. <laughs> I watched it once and I went, I was like, oh my gosh, can you imagine having neighbors like that? <laughs> Ooh. Bye, Lisa. Have a good night. Oh, Poet Spice. Yes, mint condition. I'm so, I'm so upset they broke up. <laughs> Stokely's done. Gone off and doing stuff by itself. Now I love Stokely, and he made I, to me he kind of like made that that band. But um, I want them. I hope they do a reunion um, soon. I think they should since COVID nineteen <laughs> um, was around. They should do a reunion uh, concert, and I would definitely like to go to that. Shallow side. I've never heard of that band. You guys, I don't listen. I don't listen to a lot of, of like rock. Is that a rock or a heavy metal band? Shallow side. I'm not familiar with shadow side. Shallow side. Sorry. All right, and then it says something you miss. Something you miss. You know that one when I was looking at the questions, like what do I miss? I don't know, but you know, just thinking about it now, I miss the beach. Um, I've always grown up living in coastal towns and, um, and I don't live in a coastal town. So I really miss the beach, uh, living in a coastal town, um, in Virginia, we would go to the beach every weekend, every, almost every weekend we were at the beach. And, um, when I lived in San Diego, I didn't go to the beach like every day like that, but I worked and lived by the ocean. Um, I would go to the beach every other day, probably maybe 
maybe every other day or so because I, I worked on a resort that was basically at the beach. <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed that job. We were like the closest hotel to a beach in San Diego. Okay, I'll have to check them. I'll have to check them out, Mandy. Shallow side. I'll check them out. But yeah, guys, I really miss the beach a lot. <laughs> All right, favorite song. Okay, so I really love gospel music, guys. And so my favorite song right now, I just... Every time I hear it, I have to turn the radio all the way up. And I'm like dancing in my car. I know people looking at me crazy. Um, it's a song and the artist is called Pastor Mike Jr. And the song is I Got It. That is my song, y'all. My song. Okay, Tammy. Oh my gosh, you live by Miami Beach. Oh, man, I wish. I wish I lived by the beach. <laughs> oh. we'll probably go to the beach real soon here I tell my husband I think we're going to have to go to the beach a couple times this, this summer because I'm kind of feeling like I'm missing it alright I hope you guys can see Okay, Tammy. Uh, what? What? You? You mean all you listen to is rock music? All right, y'all. The next one is the next question is how old are you? Mm. Uh, what's that? My grandmother used to say, "You never ask a lady how old she is." <laughs> That is just rude. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 40s. And not my late 40s. How about that? <laughs> you never, you're not supposed to ask a lady how old she is. <laughs> I miss my grandma. <laughs> oh, Christian music. Oh, yeah. I, I love gospel and Christian music. I love it. Especially when you're, um, you know, when you're, when things are not going so well, um, and you need some encouragement, encouraging, um, some encouraging words and, and some, and most of the times for me, gospel and Christian music, um, is my go-to. <laughs> you guys so mid 40s mid 40s that's well i just told you didn't mid 40s i'm not going to say which way mid 40s but mid 40s <laughs> i have a couple gray hairs <laughs> i'll give you guys that little tidbit <laughs> couple all right my zodiac sign um i don't really go by that much you know, I don't like live by the zodiac sign or anything like that or hold it 100% true, but I am a Capricorn. Oh, <laughs> Tammy. I don't know about that one, Tammy. <laughs> Ooh, I might care. <laughs> I might care more because I'm going to probably be one of those, you know, old ladies who don't want to be bothered with all those silly questions. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what was the question I said? Oh, I am a Capricorn. Um, and, and actually, in my household, there are three out of four. <laughs> three of us are Capricorns, and we have one Leo. So, and the Leo is my husband. He is surrounded by Cap Capricorns. <laughs> All right. Any other Capricorns in the house? Any other Capricorns in the house? Okay, we have a Sagittarius. Come on, y'all. Any Capricorns? Oh, 
Okay, yay, Tammy. We have two Tammies in here. We have another Capricorn, Sagittarius. Come on, y'all. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio's in the house. Anybody else want to share? We got Lisa, Lisa L. My mom and dad are both Capricorns. Woo, yes, Capricorns. Yeah, we can be um, quite headstrong. <laughs> Very stubborn at times. A Cancer's in the house. Okay, Tammy George is a Cancer. All right. Thanks for sharing, y'all. All right. The next, the next question is, quality you look for in a partner. Oh, we have Taurus. Okay, so Lena's a Taurus. She just celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday. We have an Aries. Poet Spices and Aries. Cool. We have a lot of different signs in here. Pretty cool. All right, y'all. Qualities you look for in a partner. Qualities you look for in a partner. Well, I mean, I mean, I already have a partner, so <laughs> but I'll just say this. I really look for someone who is honest and loyal. Um, you know, somebody who loves family, um, hard worker, strong, <laughs> will basically, you know, die to defend their family. That's what I look for. Okay. All right. So favorite quote. <clears throat> okay, guys. My favorite quote. All right. My favorite quote is actually by MLK Jr. And the quote is, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And I really, um, I really believe that. <clears throat> So and that's my favorite quote. I have a lot of, of quotes that I like. Um, but, you know, some of them are like from poems. So we, I don't know if you really can com consider that a quote. <laughs> um, so, but yeah. Oh my gosh, Tammy George. <laughs> you can't type fast. <laughs> well, maybe I, I better slow down a little bit. <laughs> I'll slow down just a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. You're sweet. All right. So um, my favorite actor, you guys already know if, you've, if you if um, you have watched any of my videos, you guys, I it's a, it's a tie because these guys are just, okay, I'll just tell you guys. It's Idris Elba and Jason Momoa. And um, they are the most beautiful actors, in my opinion, ever to grace uh, Hollywood or wherever they gonna they film. <laughs> Hi, Lavelia. <laughs> Those are my actors that I crush on whenever I see them. I know my husband like probably hates watching. Any movie with those guys <laughs> and I'm sitting in there because I'm just like, instead of watching the movie, I'm like, oh my God, oh, look at that. <laughs> he is so fine. <laughs> uh, I know that's like annoying, but you know, there's, you know, I'm, I'll never be able to, <laughs> first of all, they're taken. Secondly, they're, I'm, I will probably never, ever cross their path. <laughs> so it's okay to crush, right? <laughs> oh valerie he was in game of thrones remember khaleesi her her husband oh my gosh that's when i like totally fell in love with him i was like look at that man look at that man <laughs> he had you gotta look up um jason momoa in uh game of thrones and they'll have pictures of him oh my gosh Woo. oh <laughs> all right next question <laughs> My favorite color, you guys know, my favorite color is pink. So that's easy. All right. The next question is, do you like soft or loud music? Um, I actually like both. 
I like soft music when I'm trying to, uh, when I work, I like to listen to um, jazz, um, like a contemporary jazz. Um, and I'll play it softly and not too loud. And, um, and then loud music when I'm trying to like dance and jam in my house <laughs> or outside. <laughs> so I like both, um, probably more loud than soft. <laughs> All right. The next question is, where do you go when you're sad? Mm, where do I go when I'm sad? You guys, this is not good because, you know, when I was, when I used to get sad, I used to like, I don't know if anyone else has experienced emotional eating, like go just eat because you're upset or sad. You're, you're having an experience and you just don't feel you have control of. So you just go eat something. I used to emotional eat. And um, I stopped doing that. But now, <laughs> you guys, and I'm feeling sad, you know where I go? It's called Amazon.com. <laughs> Amazon.com. <laughs> and that is not good either. So I'm like, I got to find something else to do when I'm sad because either I'm going to get fat or I'm going to be broke. And I don't think that's a great combination. So I got to really change it could change that. I don't know if anyone else kind of does that. Like if you're feeling a little down or a little low, you want to go buy something. Because <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, you're getting some kind of pleasure from shopping, you know, like happiness. <laughs> like, ooh, I got to buy that. But it can also sometimes be like impulse, impulsive shopping because do you need that? No. You're just buying it because you're feeling low and you want to do, you just want to shop. So if there is an uh, an, um, Amazon anonymous, I probably need to be part, a part of it. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next question is, um, how long does it take you to shower? I was like, really? Do you really want to know how long it takes someone to take a shower? I, that this When they said TMI, that is really TMI. You know, how long does it take me to... I don't know. I don't keep a timer. As long as it takes to clean my body more than once. <laughs> it's just take a shower. So hopefully I'm in there for more than five minutes. <laughs> when I take a shower. <laughs> so um, I can't really answer that question uh, it, a long time. <laughs> All right, y'all. <sighs> okay, the next question is, how long does it take you to get ready? Same thing. Um, I don't really time it, but if I estimate, you know, estimate how long it probably takes me, that really all depends. Am I putting on makeup? Am I Am I, you know, flat ironing my hair? That really all depends. So it could take me anywhere from probably 30 minutes to probably an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, maybe, depending on what exactly I have to do to get ready. <laughs> all right. You guys, next question. All right, next question. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Um, sad to say yes. Nobody likes to, to get in a physical fight, but yes, I have been. And when I was, a, yeah, when I was a little younger, yes. Um, but, you know, they don't last long when you're young so but yeah not 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 good things to to talk about so i'll just go to the next question a turn on um turn ons Ooh. okay well a turn on for me like you know for like i'll just go with my husband i like a man who smells really good like you know 
when you give them a hug and you smell the cologne they're using, like, oh my gosh, you can just like bite their neck off. <laughs> That's a turn on for me is when my boo smells nice. Um, when we go out and we're spending quality time together, um, they grab your hand and hold your hand, stuff like that. I love that. Just little things like that. Um, turn off always people with bad breath <laughs> or you're sloppy or you know just don't really not taking care of yourself just being a slob that's a turn off all right yes he's a turn on for sure for sure lisa yes that <laughs> all right the next one we have is the reason i joined youtube the reason I joined YouTube. Hi, Stephanie. I don't think I said hello to you. I hope you're having a good night. All right. Um, so the reason I joined YouTube. Well, guys, I wasn't going to join YouTube, but I kind of did it to get out of my, out of a comfort zone that I was in with not like with I'm, I was kind of shy, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, like, you know, I don't, I'm not one of those people, well, I, well, back then, I wasn't one of those people who would go into a room and just start talking to people, you know, if it's a, like a party or a gathering, I was one of those people who would just like come in, say hello, smile, and like kind of like sit back and watch, and um, I felt like I needed to make some changes in, in that kind of the way that I was, because I felt like I was probably missing out on a lot of great chances to meet people and to, um, grow, you know, friendships and things like that. So I said, you know, when I, when I started my Facebook group, adult coloring on a budget, it was just for like posting my pictures and things like that. And then people started asking me, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? And I was like, what way can I do that? And then I ran across people, um, you know, using YouTube to like share that kind of stuff, you know? So I was like, oh, I can start a channel. But I was so nervous, guys, in my first video. Oh, so nervous. And I was like, they might, nobody's going to like me. And you know, I hope my personality comes off good enough. I hope my pages are pretty. I don't know. And you know how that, like, you're doubting yourself comes over you and you just, like, get it in your head. Well, I'm not going to do it. But then I got encouraged by my brother. He's like, T, just do it, you know? Just do it, you know? Just take the chance. And I'm not one of those big risk, risk takers sometimes. Depends on what it is. But a lot of times, like, when it, when it's when it comes to, like, people possibly rejecting you or not liking you. I don't take big risks. <laughs> um, so that was really tough for me to do, but I did it. And I think I'm thankful that I did because now I have, you know, over 4,000 subscribers and I feel like people do enjoy me and my personality and the work that I do. And I'm just happy to share it and I, that I get the opportunity to meet so many nice people. I've gained some wonderful friendships. Um, with, a, some, with many color tubers, um, Lavelia and Selena are, are two that I actually talk to on the phone and have, re, you know, have a relationship with, um, Sabrina from Sabrina's Twist of Color. There are several people that I've, you know, come to actually have great close friendships with, um, on color tube. And so I'm so grateful that I went ahead and took that step with the push of my brother, <laughs> to do this and I'm gonna, I'm just, this is just something that I'm gonna keep doing. So, all right, next question, um, fears, my fears. I don't like bugs <laughs> at all. Uh, critters, bugs, nothing. I don't like to see them. Um, so yes, I'm one of those people who pay a I don't care if I have to pay it monthly. I'm paying for someone to keep the bugs from coming around the perimeter perimeter of my house or coming in my house. So I pay for service. <laughs> and if I see something, I'm calling them on the phone. I don't want to see bugs. I don't like bugs. Um, 
Um, I don't like storms. Um, I come from San Diego, so we don't really have storms like, you know, thunder and lightning and stuff. So I kind of get a little nervous when I see, um, you know, lightning. I don't like it when we have Tornado warnings, I'm like really nervous, uh, almost to the point where I probably might like make everybody else nervous around me. <laughs> it's probably not nervous because I'm too nervous. Um, but yeah, um, those are those are some of my fears. Um, last thing that made me cry. Oh, all right, y'all. The last thing that made me cry. Um, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm just going to just say it. Uh, the last thing that made me cry is one of my, one of my really good friends, dear friend of mine, um, uh, was part of my adult coloring on a budget Facebook group. Uh, she, she died this past week. Um, and, um, her name was Anne. You, some of you may know her if you're in some of the other, um, Facebook groups like, uh, I think she was also in adult coloring supplies. Um, she was in her mid eighties, I believe, but she was a friend. That's another person that I became friends with and called on the phone um, and was supposed to go meet her and it just didn't work out. So I lost a really good friend and I kind of been emotional most of the week over it. Her daughter has been in touch with me and um, I've been talking with her um, and sharing things with her. And so, um, yeah, that was really tough for me this week. So I feel like I'm, you know, getting really better about being able to talk about her and not getting upset. So you guys keep me in your thoughts and prayers, okay? Thank you so much, Tammy. Um, oh, Tammy George doesn't like spiders either. Oof. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kubri, Tammy. I'm, I'm going to say Tammy. Uh, one, two, three. How about that? Um, it's it's tough to miss to to lose someone, and, and I don't um, I don't want to talk about it too much more because I feel like I'm starting to get emotional. So we're gonna go to the next question, okay? Last time you said you loved someone. Actually, that was tonight. <laughs> I told Christian, Christian, it's time for you to go in the room. I don't want to hear you while I'm going live. You can watch your tablet. And, um, and I said, and he said, gee, you didn't even say I love you. <laughs> I said, I, you know, I love you. I love you. I say, I love you all every day, all day throughout the day. <laughs> but I guess he wanted to hear it before he went to his room. So I said, I love you, Christian. <laughs> so yes, Selena, she was, she was a very beautiful person. Very beautiful. All right, so um, let's see. The next one is the meaning behind your YouTube name. Um, uh, the meaning behind my, well, the meaning behind my YouTube name is just, it's quick. At first it was Cali Girl NNC. I don't know if any of you guys, well, some of you guys knew my channel as Cali Girl NNC. And that was because I'm a, I'm a California girl living in, in, in North Carolina. So that's why it was Cali Girl NNC. But I kind of noticed like when people were trying to talk about my channel, they couldn't really get that right. <laughs> I said, I got to come up with something else, you know, because I always say it's your girl T. And I was like, you know what? Let me just change it to T because people know me by T. So let me change it to T and just put on World of Adult Coloring. And the reason why I added on World, um, the reason why I added on um, Adult Coloring was because, um, was because, at the time, you know, they had that big thing where if, if your channel didn't state that it was for adults, you could get fined because now YouTube's doing all these fines for people who are uh, not making sure that their their videos are not geared towards children and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I got to add something adult in here so people know. And YouTube knows that this is not a kid's, <laughs> this is not a kid's channel. So, um, yeah, so... I think T's World of Adult Coloring is better, but I still, still hear people getting it mixed up. But they just say, you guys know T from T's World. <laughs> Sometimes I hear that. Or, but, you know, for the most part, you, you got the T part right. So, um, 
Yeah. Hi, Tracy. Well, Tammy, I'm glad I changed it too. I think it's better because I think Cali Girl and MC was just a mouthful for people to, to say. So, but yes, that's why I changed it. And that's what the meaning is. All right. So the next question is the last book you read. The last book I read was All I Did Was Shoot My Man by Walter Mosley. You guys, I like Walter Mosley. My mom got me into reading Walter Mosley books. Um, and <laughs> that book was so good. I think I read that book in like two, two days. And I was like, man, and my mom's like, you skipped around in the series. I was like, I know. Now I got to find out like every single book and when the book was released. And I'm going to go back to the top, to the very first one and start reading. And start reading all of the books. So um, that was the last book I read. And then the book I'm currently reading right now is a Christian, like Christian self-help book. And it's called How to Tame Your Tongue in 30 Days. Um... So, yeah, and taming your tongue, meaning your speech, different things that, um, you know, it's more so like character building kind of thing. So how to tame your tongue in 30 days. So that is what I'm currently reading. Um, the next one is last show you watched. Um, the last show I watched was actually on YouTube and it was called... Um, Gosh, I just watched it. Gypsy something. It's about um, gypsies in the U UK who who travel and people don't want them in their towns and stuff. And the things that they're going through, the, the way that people feel about them and the way they feel about people not wanting them there. Very interesting. So that's the last show I watch. It's, it's a, a, I think it's a, it's a, like more like a documentary kind of thing. So. All right. Um... The last person I talked to, I don't know if they mean by on phone. If it's not by phone, like lot like face to face, it would be my son Kai. I went back to the back to the tell him that I was going live and and talked to him about our new baby lizard that we got. We got a new lizard this weekend, y'all. We got a new bearded dragon. And the dragon's name is Chops. It's a leatherback bearded dragon. And we are having fun playing with him or her. We don't know what it is just yet. <laughs> but we named it, they named it Chops. <laughs> Christian and my husband. <laughs> Christian didn't like Chops, but. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, it says, relationship between you and the last person you texted the last person I texted um, that was Lavelia um, <laughs> um, I texted her and so the, the relationship is we're really good friends she's like one of my best friends so um, like a sister and so I texted her um, today so yay alright and then favorite food my favorite food is Mexican food I don't know if anyone else likes Mexican food. That is my favorite. I love it. I love it. I can eat Mexican food every day. Every day. Because there's so many things that I like that I would never get sick of it. Who else likes Mexican food? Authentic Mexican food. You guys, I even know how to make Mexican food. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's good. I guess it's better to. I feel like it's better to make it at home if you can. If you can. Um, some some things are complicated, like tamales. That's something that takes a long time to make, and if you don't know what you're doing, you can really mess those up. Those I have not tried to make yet, but I do want to try. Oh, yes. Beans and rice and tacos. Yes. Um, was our, our last, our year before last, 
Christmas was Mexican. We did a Mexican Christmas um, Christmas dinner. And I actually made um, pozole from scratch, you guys. It was a long process, but it was so delicious. And um, we, I made um, Mexican rice and we had chicken. We had chicken tacos, I believe. We had, I also made this um, green chili, green chili chicken enchiladas. Oh, that was, they, it was a really nice um, Christmas dinner. So, oh yeah, Tammy, I like Cuban food. I had it for the first time when I went to Florida. First time authentic Cuban and it was delicious. Yes, um, I like Cuban food now. <laughs> so, you know, when I go back down to Florida, I'll be getting the Cuban food. This time I wanna try um, the Cuban sandwich. We had, I had something like a, like a stewed, a, I forget what it was called, stewed beef, the stewed beef dish um, with the, um, the rice and beans, you know, the black beans, the rice, and then I had the plant, the plantains. Oh, that was really nice. Hi, Jojo. Hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? All right, we're on finally on the second page, y'all. I'm telling you, there's a lot of pencils. Let's say 150 to be exact. What is this? Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna mess up here. What is that? Okay. All right. I bet you that was Tammy George. Um, because <clears throat> I'm I'm trying to tell you, I. I <laughs> When I went there, when we were, tra were planning to travel down to Florida, I was like, I already planned. We're going to have this on this day, this on this, like what we're going to eat. I was like, we're having Cuban food on day two. <laughs> and then like Chris was like, I'm not going to like it. So I was like, well, that's okay. We'll just get you pizza from the hotel. Because <laughs> we already knew he's not going to eat that. So he's just too picky. So, but it was really good. Me and my husband enjoyed that. I'm good, Jojo, doing better. Um, I, had a, I had a friend that passed away, but I'm doing better. Thank you for asking. All right, so um, a place that you want to visit. There's several places I want to visit. Um, the first place I must visit um, is has to be Italy. I just, that's just something I've always wanted to do ever since I, um, started going to art school and just learned so much about um, the influence that the Italians had um, in art. And I have just been in awe of going there to see these uh, works of art in, in person. So that's a place I must go. All right, um, next one is last place you were. I don't really know what they mean by that. Last place you were. Thank you, Jojo. I'm. Thank you very much. Um, you guys, last place you were. <laughs> the last place I was was at home here, <laughs> in the dining room, <laughs> before I started this uh, stream. I'm still in the dining room, but I left it for a minute. <laughs> so that was the last place I've been. <sighs> but if we're talking about going going somewhere, would it be um, I went to like a gospel live concert last night. So we're talking about somewhere other than home and that, that would be it. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Um, do you have a crush? Yeah, my husband. <laughs> I better say that. I, besides my um, actors, actor crushes, <laughs> it would be my husband. <laughs> That's my crush. All right, last time you kissed someone, that would be my husband. <laughs> oh, last time you were insulted. Um, I've, I've never been like 
you know, like insulted, insulted, but I think people can also insult you by insulting your intelligence. And that happened this week, uh, earlier this week. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I don't, I didn't say anything to anyone about that. I just, you know, some things you just have to let go. Um, and so I let go. <laughs> um, you know, some people say things sometimes or do things that to insult your intelligence, but you have to just, some, some things you're going to have to let go. You know, you can't, you have to pick and choose. Uh, what you're going to deal with. And I chose to just let it go and move on. <laughs> we have other things in life to worry about. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. So, okay, Jojo, my actor crushes are Idris Elba and Jason Momoa. They are the finest men on TV ever. Okay. Ever. <laughs> You have to tell me what you think. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. Have a good night. Blessings to you, too. All right. Yes, with the Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. A uh, favorite flavor of sweet. Um... I don't know if I have a favorite flavor of sweet. Um, Cause when I mean, you think about flavor, you know, when I was thinking about flavor, I was like, are they wanting to know like, um, like a fruit flavor or what? But I really like things that are like cinnamon and sugar. I like cinnamon a lot. Anything that has cinnamon on it, I wanna taste it. <laughs> as long as it's sweet. Cinnamon and sugar, I guess is my favorite then. All right. <clears throat> Paul Rudd and Ewan McGregor. That's that's what Stephanie says. Paul Rudd and Ewan is it oh I can't say that name. Ewan? Ewan <laughs> McGregor. Yes, Jojo, I love tamales, but I don't make it. I go up the road to my friends and you know. Say, hey, I need to buy some. <laughs> but I really want to learn how to make them. So I'm going to try probably in, in November to make them myself. So if you have any tips, if you know how to make them, you can send me an email with any kind of tips you can. You can. Yes, Kubri123, Tammy. I have that cinnamon sugar toast is something that <laughs> I used to make at home when I was coming up uh, for breakfast. You know, I know how to, you know, just make cinnamon sugar toast. Um, I I like to take um, flour tortillas and fry them till they puff up and then sprinkle. Once, you know, you drain the grease off, of course, then um, sprinkle it with cinnamon and sugar. Oh my gosh, I love those. Ooh. Makes me want to make some now. I think I have some tortillas in there. <laughs> and I haven't had dessert yet. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, I love anything cinnamon and sugar. I like churros because they have cinnamon and sugar on them and I love them. I don't like when people try to change it up and put like, like we were in Florida and they were selling them and they had like, um, they made them like s'more style. And I was like, I said, okay, I'll try it. And then I was like, well, I thought maybe they were putting cinnamon and sugar along with the chocolate and the marshmallow. And they didn't, and I was like, and I, was, I bit into it, and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> I had to go back off to my husband. I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> they didn't put cinnamon sugar on it. That's not a real churro. <laughs> uh-uh. So, yeah, I don't like, I don't like things that are, are supposed to taste one way. Taste, they don't, what you expect to taste, you know, the original way don't taste that way. Um. Yeah, <laughs> so, yes, yes, fried ice cream is so, and I have a recipe on, on how to make it, and I was pretty shocked at how they did it, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, they roll it in cornflakes and cinnamon sugar, yes, very, very nice, that is good, good stuff. 
All right, so let's see. What instrument do you play? Um, <clears throat> at church, I play tambourine sometimes. That's the only instrument I play. Um, I also used to sing. Um, so I guess your voice is also an instrument. So those are the, those are the instruments. My voice and um, tambourine at church. So, all right. My favorite piece of jewelry. My favorite piece of jewelry is my wedding band and engagement ring for my husband. Um, always gonna be my favorite. And my second favorite piece of jewelry is the my grandmother, my dad's mom um, gave me her um, her ring, and so she's no longer here. So. That's my second favorite piece of jewelry is the ring my grandmother gave me. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we guys, we have six more questions. <laughs> well, not six, five. And then I get to like say who I want to answer these questions next. <laughs> um, all right, so the last sport you played, the last sport I played guys, was cornhole and I never knew anything about cornhole until I came to um, North Carolina I never seen anybody play it I didn't know anything about it and my job actually we have a cornhole tournament every year we had we didn't have it last year but typically we have it every year at work <laughs> it's like cornhole tournament day we like hardly do any work everybody's outside and we all get to participate and I had never played it and I actually on the first or the second or first year I actually got to the finals <laughs> oh, so good night Lisa so yeah cornhole was the last sport that I played thank you Lisa you have a great night so um you guys if anybody knows what that is tell me how you like it it's it's a fun game um, I just don't see what the big deal is about cornhole. <laughs> uh, but somebody told me who plays it all the time. Um, what it, it's, it's more fun when people are drinking. Well, I don't drink, so <laughs> I still have fun playing it. I just, I don't, you know, it's fun, I guess. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Is it E? I can't say that. E. Markson. Marksonil. E. Marksonil. Thank you very much. All right. Um, the last song you sang. <laughs> the last song I sang was my favorite song. <laughs> Pastor Mike. I got it. I was in here just jamming right before I went live. Guys, <laughs> trying to get myself, you know, in the mood to um, have a little fun. Not that I wasn't in the mood already, but, you know, just kind of get to get amped up, <laughs> get amped up before my my life. All right, y'all. OK, next question. All right, Lavelia. We'll see you. I may I may not be on, but, you know, you can always check. Have a good night. Say hello to everyone for me. OK, um. Favorite chat up line. <laughs> I was like, favorite chat up line. I mean, those are corny. I mean, if you like somebody, if you want to talk to somebody, walk up and say hi. My name is. Son. So I was like thinking about chat up lines. I used to always giggle at. Nobody said this to me. My husband said it to me once, just being funny. But this before we, I mean, this is after we're together. But <laughs> no, okay. So the chat up line. <laughs> Um, that must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. Y'all know that one? <laughs> that must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> Jojo, you know that one? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> My husband's silly, y'all. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Selena, you know that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Judge. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? My husband would say that. Like, we'd be in Walmart walking. I'm, like, walking, right, next to him in Walmart. And I, like, maybe start walking faster. So I'm like, hurry up, let's hurry. And, like, he'd say it out in public. And I'd be like, oh, my God, no, you didn't just say that out loud in the store. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Uh, and I just look at him and shake my head. My husband is so funny like that sometimes. So, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's the one I could think of. <laughs> All right. So, um, have you ever used it? No, I wouldn't use it because that's something the guy should say to me, right? My my guy should say to me <laughs> that I can say it to my husband. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, <laughs> he's very lucky. <laughs> <sighs> But anyway, <laughs> the last time you, um, it says the last time you hung out with anyone. Um, the last time I hung out with someone was, wasn't, it was for less than 10 minutes. Um, but I have a, a really dear friend of mine, I'm a, another best friend and she's like my sister as well. And her name is, um, Shantae. She's not a colorist, just a friend here from my church. One of my sisters from church. And um, she wasn't feeling too hot, and, and I baked I baked her a cake for Mother's Day, but it's a Mother's Day gift. But I didn't bake it on Mother's Day; it's not old cake. <laughs> I waited till she was kind of filling up to it, and when I could actually get the cake out to her. So I baked her an almond amaretto pound cake, and I took it to her. Um, she wasn't feeling well, so I didn't stay long. So um, I spent a few minutes with her. Hugged her, learned I loved her, gave her her cakes and some coloring books, and then I left. Um, but yes. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> All right. All right. So that was actually the last question, y'all. So who should answer these questions next was the next, uh, the next question, actually. <laughs> so who should answer these questions next? So... I think JoJo's already done this on her channel. So if you guys, um, anyone who has a channel, please put a heart, a red heart now, if you could, please. Um, so the people can know that you have a channel and they can go and check you out too. Um, but yes, uh, I think JoJo's done it. I was tagged by Sabrina from Sabrina's Twist of Color. Um, so I'm going to tag... Um, uh, I'm going to tag Selena from Candy's Colorful World. And I think, I think Poet Spice has a channel as well. So I'm going to tag Poet Spice. Um, and then I'm going to tag Lavelia because I don't know if she's done that yet. So I'm going to also tag Lavelia at Lavelia's Coloring. And um, I think that's going to be it. And anyone else who hasn't done it, if you have a channel, please... Do this tag if you want to. I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's there's some, you know, some questions that I didn't really want to answer, but for the most part, it was fun. Yeah, Candy has um, a channel as well, so you guys can go check her out. Um, I don't know anyone else on the list. JoJo, uh, Lavelia has a channel. You guys can go check her out. Um, so, yeah. So, but... That, that's all the questions on that list. Um, I don't know if any of you guys would ever do it if you, <laughs> if you had a channel, but I was like, oh my goodness, these these questions are getting crazier and crazier, but it's it was fun. And I think that you guys got to learn a little bit more about me, um, you know, doing this, this um, TMI tag. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, end my live now. And I hope that you guys had a wonderful time here. Okay, who else is Bobby? Did Bob, okay, Bobby, do you have a channel? No? I don't know. Does Bobby have a channel? She has a heart there. 
Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I, I actually have fun answering and then seeing you guys' comments. is very fun. Very, very fun. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed the tag and enjoyed watching me swatch these pencils. I'm going to finish the rest off camera. I still have quite a bit, y'all. <laughs> I have quite a bit. Look at that. I need to get halfway done. But I just enjoyed having fun with you guys. And I hope that you guys tune in for um, the next live I may have next week. Okay? Take care, everyone. Have a good night. <clears throat>